Here's some aerial video of Truly Tropical. This first part was shot in March 2017, which was before mango season began. You can't see the baby mangoes from far away, but they're there. The second collection of videos is from August 2017, which was the end of mango season. Most of our end of season mango pruning had been done. This aerial video doesn't really show the huge amount of branches that lay all over the ground. You can see the holes in the middle of some of the trees that weren't there in March. Usually, we take out the major dominant branches in the center of the trees. This improves light penetration and air circulation and helps to keep the trees small and the fruit easier to pick. The farm is surrounded by a lot of houses, schools, businesses, nature preserves, and even a 50-meter public pool. The Atlantic Ocean is about a mile away. Our deep, sandy soils and ocean breezes are ideal for growing mangoes. This last part was shot in September 2017 less than a week after Hurricane Irma hit. We were very fortunate in Hurricane Irma. This video doesn't really show the amount of work that we have to do, but you can see the Kaimito tree before it was righted. Our end of season pruning made the trees less vulnerable to the wind. We had some damage. We lost about six trees and had another six blow over. But this was minor compared to the damage in other areas of the state and also minor compared to the damage that we had from Hurricane Wilma. We're grateful that the damage wasn't worse. And you can see the shade house with the screen panel still rolled up, which is how we prepare it for hurricanes. It's a lot of work to cut the screens off, roll them up, and tie them. Then it's more work to unroll them and tie them back. But this saves a lot of time and energy in the long run. Without the screens in place, the small plants are exposed to full sun, which is not ideal. But coming back from a hurricane is all about prioritizing the work that needs to be done. Some work like cutting off small young branches that were damaged in the wind might not be complete for many months. So there's a look at three stages in our grove. Before mango season, after trimming at the end of mango season and after a hurricane passed. <music>